I cannot believe I got chosen to do the announcement. Burke is going to be so jealous. <laughs> this is definitely going to get me some cool guy points. I can feel it. Oh, uh, we're recording already? You didn't hear any of that. <clears throat> says here that the Cambridge University Light Entertainment Society are raising money for the British Red Cross Ukraine appeal. Awesome. Please check the link in the description and donate if you're able to spare a dracut or two or share to your friends via a... something called social media. Male pigeons are far more reliable if you ask me. Anyways, thanks a bunch and enjoy the show arrow out Arrow ah! sorry we're ready i'll shut up now Dust of the liars who found your new home In a pit of beggars and sinners and wine You will be found a child of mine From the ruins You will Learn how to strike matches in the dark To wear a small and soul patches on my heart What is left unspoken Word? Win for president. All hail. All right. Come on in. Someone's got to stop letting that girl be in charge of the passwords. Her parents own the place, so I don't think her reign of password terror will be over any time soon. Dagger! What are you doing here? Hello to you too. Oh shush. You know what I mean. I just wasn't expecting you till later. Farron gave me the day off for my found day. He's out on a big job, so instructed me to seek out friends. I think he felt bad about leaving me on my own with only Beryl for company. Hey! What's your manners, street rat? I'm liking today's password. Thanking you? I'm trying to send a message to my parents. You know they'd rather I try and find work outside the Warren, but I love working here. It's worth the potential arrest from peddling moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep it up. I'm sure they'll tire of nagging you soon. I can't bear another. Us dwarven folks didn't leave the mines of Braithmore to have our daughter working underground. Speech. Oh, the pit stop. <laughs> there before. Uh, at least your parents have got a sense of humor, kid. Hmm. Well, we just got a ship of the extra strong stuff in last night. Fancy a hit? Sign me up. Ooh! Did someone say shots? Count me in! Uh, 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 no. Step away from the alcohol, kid. You're a baby. What? Baby. I'm literally 18 next week, guys. Come on. It's illegal for everyone in the Warren to drink alcohol. Vis-a-vis the prohibition. So let me at it. No can do, I'm afraid. Someone's got to protect your innocence. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> By my beard. They weren't kidding when they said that stuff was extra strong. And <laughs> I'll wake you up, slap you around the face and call you Billy. I hate you both. Aw, you can't.
can't be mad at me. It's my found day. I get a free pass for teasing you. Oh, that reminds me. Your present. Ta-da! A coupon for Tatiana's Tattoo Studio? Quinn! How long have you been saving up for this? Tatiana's prices aren't exactly cheap. That's for me to know and for you to never find out. I know you've been dying to add your already beautiful collection and this is enough to cover the cost of a large tattoo. Quinn, I can't tell you how much this means. I can finally get the obscar ringed over! Every penny Farron and I earn has been put into paying back the upper quarter surgeon. Plus interest. Not to mention the medication. I've got no choice but to purchase it from the upper quarter. No one gets magically enhanced treatments down here. Bastard upper dwellers. My parents said that since the monarchy dissolved, the President Kyler took over. Everyone proudly declared democracy had won. But things have been even worse. The maids used to live among the people, helping us directly. But now... Thanks to Kyga, they hide up in that palace, only offering their assistance to the potions. People in the war get shot on every day. The prohibition, the curfew. Ugh, I can't stand those patrol officers swanning about. I bet their fancy pants uniforms alone cost more than we earn in a year. So, what I'm hearing is that you want to plan an organised stripping? Hmm, the perfect crime. Lucky we have the right to bear arms. Hey. Speaking of bastard upper dwellers, guess whose boyfriend is paying us a visit tonight? Phoenix is coming here. Actually... Oh! I think he should visit. Really? Yeah! So the wolves will beat the crap out of him. Kids! <laughs> I can't believe you're dating the enemy dagger. He is the son of Emerson Garcia. The head of the Gilderstone Mage Guild. They sit up in the ivory towers we built while we rot down in the sewers. What has the president or the guild ever done for us but punish us and control us? I hate to say it, Dagger, but I sort of agree. When we gatecrashed that bougie upper quarter party, I was expecting us to steal things, not hearts. I know what it seems like, guys, but what is it that separates us from the wolves, huh? Uh, we aren't brutes? Exactly! They want to achieve change through blood and violence, but the upper quarter have magic on their side. They would slaughter us in a heartbeat. We can enact change diplomatically. The Warren has been politically voiceless for so long, but through Phoenix, we could get that voice. He listens to me, and when he sees what it's like down here, he can go back to the guild and force them to listen. Well, seems rather sus to me. You believe whatever you want to, kid. But you're too trusting for your own good. Say, who's up for a game of shoots down at the ruins? Vero could be the referee. We haven't played shoots at the ruins since we were kids. Yeah, now I'm fully aware you just go down there to smoke things you shouldn't. How did you have my sources? Come on, it'll be fun. Just like old times. You're up for it, aren't you, Dagger? Um, uh, maybe I should sit out. I'm feeling a bit sore after all the... Oh, please. You know you want to. Okay, maybe just one round. Fine. Any excuse to bunk off cleaning tables and mopping up mystery substances from the floors. Woo! Let the games begin! <laughs> <laughs> So, Phoenix, tell me more about this surprise poem you're writing for me. <laughs> if I told you, Bugs, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Mm, but you always spoil me. Flowers, chocolate, jewels, various other favors. Why can't you spoil the surprise and tell me how lovely I am in verse? You won't be happy until I'm on my knees serenading you. Is that it? Oh, you have my full permission to get down on your knees and show me anything you like. <laughs> 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 Sorry, male pigeon. Male. Talk about male. 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 
Thank you for using the MMP postal service. It's been a hoot. Cooey. Ooh, a parcel. Is it for me? No, you minx. It's just my Gilda cloak. The crust was falling off, so I sent it to the tailors to get it mended. Just in time, too. Oh, what's this? It looks like a model merry-go-round. I don't know. Maybe the tailor put it in? Bit of a weird calling card, don't you think? I'm sure it was an accident. Here. Do you think it's worth anything? <laughs> oh, so thinking of selling it rather than returning it, eh? You are rotten. Guilty as charged. So what? The universe clearly wanted you to have it. Fate makes no mistakes. I don't think I'll be swimming in riches. It looks like a child's toy. A broken child's toy. No point wasting time playing with it, then, when you could be playing with something else. <laughs> Phoenix, can I have a word? <sighs> Fine, I'll leave. Don't know why you can't just say that, instead of standing in the doorway like an omen. See you later, Phoenix. Negotiation meeting with Panin's Mage Guild is in less than half an hour, and instead of preparing like you should be, I find you here drinking champagne with some doe-eyed floozy. He's the son of Gilda Yin, mother. Well, even more concerned then. I will not have you embarrass me, Phoenix. Every day I defend you against criticism. Every day I assure people that you got into the guild of your own merit and that no nepotism was involved. And every day I'm picking up after your trail of parties and lovers and scandal. Well then, the guild should stop sticking their noses into my private life. Can't you see that everything you do is a reflection? Not only on us as a family, but on the quality of our leadership. You are a Garcia, Phoenix. You come from a long line of highly respected and powerful mages. <sighs> and as much as it pains me, I'm afraid that if you put one more toe out of line, I'm going to have to ask you to step down. What? President Keigler has wanted to discreetly get rid of you more times than I can count. And I've always jumped to your defense. But I'm tired, Phoenix. You need to grow up and take responsibility. These negotiations are a chance to prove yourself. Look at Gilda Knox, the head of the Panning Guild at 28. Please don't compare me to Knox, Mother. Don't let me down. I'm afraid, Phoenix. You know nothing of what life is truly like up there. Losing your place from the guild means not only giving up your position in society, but your salary and your residence here in the palace. I just... I don't know how you'd survive. You really think so little of me. Phoenix, look. Mages are capable of such wondrous things. When I was young, a talented mage saved me from a devastating illness. And if he hadn't, you wouldn't even be here. I know you're capable of so much, but you waste it and I don't understand why. Gilda Emerson, Gilda Phoenix. The negotiations are beginning soon. I suggest you make your way to the Great Hall. Thank you, Gilda Yin. We shall be there momentarily. I'm giving you all the right conditions to thrive, Phoenix. So do yourself a favor and thrive. Stone Mage Guild, may I welcome you to our magnificent capital? No, you may not. Gilda Knox, I'm aware of the tension between our two great nations, but can we at least bring some civility to this room? As Guild members, we're advisors, negotiators, and the voice of our leaders. I'm sure your royal family would not desire to be represented in this way. Sit. Have you something to add, Gilda Phoenix? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I agree with Gilda Emerson. Hmm, well, I don't know what to tell you, Gilda Emerson. Our leaders are angry, so you can skip the pleasantries and we can get to the crux of why we're all here. The Braithmore Mines. 
You know as well as I do that Stormy's earned rights to the Brathamore region eighty years ago after the Nataskit War. It is our <coughs> territory. <coughs> yeah, 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 yes. <clears throat> May we remind you that it is in the treaty pan and signed that you would give up the region as a part of the reparations for the devastation you caused. Keep your son under control. Yes. Uh, it was an agreement. That agreement was done under duress. You burned our cities to the ground, and we weren't even invited to the negotiation table. You think this meeting makes up for that? The region has been ours for centuries. The bones of our ancestors are buried there. The ore from the mines was Panin's largest export. Now your country profits off what is rightfully ours. You sit in the lap of luxury while we burn. It was rightfully won. What? Are you just expecting us to hand it over? We have to look after our own people. And you're no threat, nor match for our military prowess. <laughs> look after your people. Can you believe this joke? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Tell that to the people rotting away in your industrial district. The unruly ones you know are angry, ever since your beloved President Keigler took over and took away the direct assistance of the majors. You know they hate you, so you try to grind them down, control them. They are getting more restless by the day, Gilda Emerson. Soon that powerful military of yours will be used against your own people. Your defences will weaken, and we'll know exactly when to strike. <gasps> you dare mock us, you son of a... St steady on there, Nox. I, I thought it would uh, lighten the mood. <laughs> we could all use a laugh, right? Use a laugh! Use a... How did you get your hands on that necklace? Please, Gilda Nox, release him. Your room. Now. Fine. Let's chalk this all up to an accident, shall we? Uh, perhaps we should extend our stay. What? I mean, uh, of course, yes, please, you're all welcome. We have much more to discuss after all. Meeting adjourned. M M Mother, I have no idea what happened. I, I didn't mean- Everyone be seated. Please listen, I, I- Be seated. You leave me no choice. Everyone in favour of expelling Gilda Phoenix from Gildastone Mage Guild, say aye. What? All those in favour. Aye. About time. Aye. 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 <laughs> aye. It is uncontested. Phoenix Garcia, you are hereby expelled from the Gildastone Mage Guild with immediate effect. This is ridiculous. Finally, I was wondering what was taking you so long. An interesting collection of letters you've got here. Who's Dagger? None of your business. Oh, what happened to the civility you lot were so keen on? What happened to cutting to the chase that you were so keen on? What do you want? <laughs> I want many things. If you think you're going to get somewhere because I'm Gilda Emerson's son, then you're wrong. 
She just kicked me out of the guild, so you're wasting your time. Oh, is that so? Look at us. We're both a mess after your little glitter bomb stunt. How about a shower? Don't you have one in your own room, Nox? I do. But I'd much rather have your company. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Not 15 minutes ago, you had me pinned up against a wall trying to kill me. You hate me. The, the entire guild hates me. Thin is the line between hate and love. What better way to take out our frustrations? Fraternizing with the enemy. Hmm. I'll be kicked out of the palace tomorrow. Why not go out with a bang? That's the spirit. <sighs> now, let's take care of that cloak. Oh, what an interesting necklace you are hiding under there. It's just as I thought. Pardon? Oh, um, nothing. Go and warm up the shower. I like it hot and steamy. Your wish is my command. Got him. about Dagger. It's late. They, sh they should be back by now. Did they seem okay when you left them? Yes! Come on, you know Dagger can fend for themselves. Besides, they gotta get their heart broken sometime. It's a fact of life. A rite of passage. What? Oops. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, how about that broccoli, eh? Steam to perfection. You can't avoid it now, Veryl. You've started. Spit it out. Well, uh, Dagger may or may not have a boyfriend who they were going to meet tonight. Oh. Why did they feel the need to keep that from me? Why, Veryl? He's an upper dweller. Bit of a break, let's say. But, like I said, it ain't gonna last. We'll pick up the pieces, glue them back together, it'll all be fine, yada yada yada. Oh, talk of the devil. Dagger, are you alright? Hi, guys. Yeah, I'm swell. Never been better. Ah! Dagger. It's fine, Farron. I'm alright. Right, and I'm the president of Stormheath. You've been pushing yourself too hard again, haven't you? What did you do? I may have played several rounds of shoots with Gwyn and Kit at the ruins. And? And got into a fight with some wolves. And? Went roof jumping. <sighs> what am I going to do with you, Dagger? I know you were a lot stronger after your operation last year. We've been training up, but... You still need to be careful. The medication can only do so much if you insist on pushing yourself too hard. I know, I know. I spent all our money on it, so it'd be a waste if I threw my back out and ended up how I was before. No, Dagger. Bugger the money. I, I care about you. I can't stand to see you hurt. I'm sorry. Beryl, make sure they get upstairs, okay? Right, you are! Come on, street rat. Good night, Farron. So, I'm guessing
guessing things with Loverboy didn't go to plan then, huh? You look like you've been slapped across the face with a wet fish. He didn't show! I stood there for four and a half hours, hoping that his meeting was just delayed, and that at any moment he would bounce around the corner saying, Sorry I'm late. But no. It feels so stupid. Go on then. Huh? Say I told you so. I know you must be dying to. No, kid, I'm real sorry. I truly am. It, it sucks. Come on. Budge up. Make room for a little one? Hmm. you feel me better. I put one of your glitter bombs in his package. <laughs> A classic move. Dagger? Dagger? I'll tell you in the morning. Fiffin' through the bins, yeah, gonna find me a tasty mouse. It's breakfast time, baby, and I could eat a house. Da 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 Oh no. This is bad. This is really bad. Farron, Farron, let me in. This is an emergency. This is important, Farron. You cannot, as I mean, cannot let Dagger see the. Oh, warning, Meryl. Oh, <laughs> Dagger! <laughs> Where are you going so early? I need some fresh air to clear my head. Well, as fresh as you can get it in the warren. No, no, you should be resting. Yeah, sleep will do you good. And get, get, get back inside. Since when do you worry about me, Varel? Go back to your hunting. I'll be back soon. I'm not worried. <laughs> well, whatever gave you that impression? I just think Farron would want you to rest. Yeah, that's it. Oh, papers here. Hey, I think I saw uh, that. My new bed hat! I really need to sit on that newspaper right now. What's got an end to you, Bear? Phoenix Garcia found dead. Dagger! Dagger! Don't stir up on my behalf. Uh, Mr. Swaridi, I, I wasn't expecting a visit today. Just come to check your progress on the machine, Sprocket. Deadlines are approaching. With all due respect, Mistress, your deadlines are... unrealistic? How so? I've been more than lenient. Well, it's, it's just me down here. You were expecting me to do the work of at least a dozen then. If you want these machines, these weapons, to be perfect, uh, I need more time. More time! I yes! May I remind you that I built this organization from nothing, from the dust that backstabbing Keigler left me in. When he threw me to the wolves to die, I rose from the ashes and became one myself. Uh, I know! You inspire people to fight for change! Nail on the head. I've waited 15 years to liberate the people of the Warren, to lead them into a new age. So Sprocket, do you really think you need more time? Perhaps it was a miscalculation. Would you like to see how you fare building these machines with one less hand? 
but no, no, Mistress Worthy. <laughs> I, I must have looked at my calendar wrong. I'll get these fixed up for you right on time for the revolution. <laughs> Happy revolution day. Yay. Excellent. I know you wouldn't let me down. Ta-ta. Honestly, Burke, you're making me rich with the amount of time you've hit the cue ball into the pocket. Shut up. You only insist we bet on pool because you're good at it. You never suggest we bet on games I'm good at. What? Go fish! <laughs> Ask. Evening, boys. Evening, Evening Mistress, Mistress Reedy. Reedy. Who's winning? Arrow is. Got me down five drackets. Good, good. A bit of competition is healthy. What's this I'm hearing about a fight on East Side with one of those pathetic Warren rabbits? I really hope you taught them a lesson, showed them what it means to mess with us. Mm. But from the state of you, I'd wager they kicked your asses. It's, it's not our fault. They, d they distracted us with their impeccable tag design. Have you thought of adding a backward S to wolves? It looks really, really cool. Shut up, Arrow. It was Dagger, Mistress. They're always making trouble for us. Only because you keep challenging them. Shh. Dagger, you say? Hmm. And does this Dagger have a last name? Give me something to work with. Paint a picture. No, they don't. Farron, a mechanic, found them wandering the streets when they were a kid and took them in. A foundling? Curious. How old are they? Same as us, around 21. Interesting. Say, how about I don't punish you both for your spectacular failure, and instead you keep taps on this dagger for me, hmm? Does that sound fair? Yep. yep. Perfectly fair. Have a good game, boys. Stone Cathedral this up close before. How much do you think the stuff inside is worth? Ow! Are you sure you wouldn't like us to come with you, Dagger? Safety in numbers and all that. That's if they even let you in. Kit! What? I'm just trying to point out the humongous elephant in the room. Everyone knows it. A rat from the Warren trying to get into an extravagantly over-the-top, high-profile, upper-quarter, frou-frou funeral with no invitation. Pfft, I doubt it. I know you weren't fond of Phoenix, Kit, but can you just please try to be a smidge more sensitive? Thou let me in. Everything was so short notice, I'm sure my lack of an invite was an oversight. Phoenix wore a locket with my picture in, and his mother would have surely seen it. He would have told her about me. If you say so. I'm sure they will. As soon as she sees me, they'll let me in. I don't know why you both- Ah, yuck! <laughs> Thought you might want some food. Just doing our part to help the less fortunate. <laughs> Real original! Just wait till I catch up with you. You'll be more than red-faced. I'll put you in a cast from your head to your tomatoes. I'll ignore them, Kit. It's not worth it. Not now. Here, Dagger, let me get that off for you. I I'm fine. You two should get back. But I'll be okay. <sighs> All right. Well, we'll see you later then. Come on, Kit. I want to go after those two twits and kick their butts into next week. I said come on. Ugh, fine. <sighs> you can do this. Halt! Your invitation? I, I don't have one, but- No invite, no entry. Move on. If you'd let me finish. I am, was, 
Phoenix's partner. <laughs> yeah, you and half of Gilderstone. You think I'd let in a dirty peasant? You smell like a rubbish heap. I'm not lying. I assure you, Gilda Emerson will know who I am if you could just get her. And leave my post? You must think I was born yesterday. Jog on, stool pigeon. You know what? You're right. How silly of me. In fact, I applaud you for doing your civic duty and keeping the streets safe. Here, a gift for your hard work. A child's toy? <laughs> stop messing about before I stop being so nice and arrest you. Have a lovely day. It's the cheek. Piece of rubbish this is. Serves them right. After all, a bit of glitter never did anyone any harm. Now, how do I get in? Oh, I hate it when Kit is right! Whee! Hiya, Kit. Those glitter bombs never get old, do they? <laughs> Hilarious! Feral! What are you doing here? I told you all I wanted to do this alone! Hmm. Well, alone isn't really working out for you, is it? Why, Beryl? Why is everything falling apart? I thought that with Phoenix I could change things, that together we could make it so people in the Warren didn't have to suffer any longer, and now I can't even say goodbye to him. Hey, 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 hey don't cry. We can get you in. How? Look up. There's a balcony wrapped around the whole building. I flew up to stake out the place, and it leans to a mezzanine level inside the cathedral. There aren't any guards stationed there. I presume it's because they think no one would be <coughs> stupid enough to climb up. <laughs> Was that a not-so-subtle way of calling me stupid? Perhaps. And hey, if you fall to your death, you gotta be with Phoenix anyways. Win-win. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Let's go, kid. Oh, come on, Dagger. You've been climbing since you were a kid. You can do this. <sighs> we are here today to mourn the loss of Phoenix Garcia, who is not only a valuable member of Gilderstone's Mage Guild, but a friend, partner, and beloved son. I could stand here and list all the legislation he helped pass, all the things he did to contribute to our great city, but I don't stand here as Gilbert Emerson. I stand here as a mother. I don't think I understood how powerful love could be the moment I saw you first open your eyes. I knew from the instant you wrapped your little hand around my finger and squeezed so tightly that I'd never be able to love anything or anyone so fiercely. That day I held you, and I promised I would always be there for you. I promised to protect you, and I failed to do that. You're almost there, Street Rats! Just keep going! And now here we are without you. I think that now I understand what it is to grieve. To experience the intense pain of heart. Peace will be left with you, Phoenix. And my biggest regret is that I didn't tell you how proud I am of you. That I didn't tell you I loved you every day for the 23 years you were here with us. Come on, just this last little bit. You can see everything from up here. One day, we will be reunited. I will see you again. 
until then. All I can say is goodbye. Phoenix, oh, this is so stupid, you probably can't even hear me, but if you're up there somewhere, I just want to say how much you meant to me. Gildestone won't be the same without you. I won't be the same without you. I guess this really is goodbye. Rest in peace, Phoenix. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I just wanted to pay my respects. It's okay. How did you know Phoenix? We were lovers. L lovers? Like, in the past? No. Up until the day he... left us. I thought that was all it was, but... I'm realizing too late how much he meant to me. <laughs> I should have told him. I'm sorry. You okay, Dagger? I'm fine. It's fine. I, I, I'm fine. Ah! Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Are you alright? Yes, I'm... <laughs> Look at me. Oh, I'm such a mess. I can't even stand properly. It's just... Phoenix was my boyfriend. I, I even thought he was near proposing. And that whole life I thought I'd lead has vanished. I, I'm sorry. I, I need to go. Street rats in a hurry? Or did you almost get away with stealing? Hey! Only I get to call them that! I haven't taken anything! I was here to say goodbye, but now I would be grateful if you would let me leave. So how did you know the famous Phoenix Garcia then? If you're not here to fill your satchel and pockets. I thought we were partners, but as it turns out, he was double-timing me! <laughs> what? Don't tell me you got a piece of the pie too! No, we were pals from school days. And he was more than double-timing you, babes. Sorry to tell uh, you. No, it, it can't be true. We, we were going to change things together, improve life for everyone in the Warren. I hate to be the one to shatter the illusion, but Phoenix was an expert chameleon, babes. He pretended to be whatever the person he was pursuing wanted him to be. Jeez, I didn't even really know who he was. He craved the thrill of the chase and had zero interest in commitment. Dropped people as soon as they failed to be interesting enough. <sighs> How long did you two go out, then? Four months. Mm, if it's any consolation, babes, I think you hold the record. Average is usually one. Get out of my way. I've heard enough. That's not the way out. You know, whatever. What are you doing, kid? I know the pillar is nice and all, but why are you sitting here and not getting the hell out of here? Waiting. For what? For them to leave. Are you sure you won't come to lunch on tomorrow, Gilda Emerson? You shouldn't be alone. I'll be quite fine. Thank you for the offer. Don't be afraid to call. I was almost your daughter-in-law. Hmm. All clear? All clear for the night, Gilda Anderson. Good. The guild will place protective enchantments on the cathedral. You're free to go home. No one's getting in.
What are you doing? Dagger? Why couldn't I see it, Feral? You were always trying to tell me. He never cared about the course. He never cared about me. He just used me. <laughs> well, now it's time to give you a proper send-off and make some people pay while we're at it. by our country.